But at the end of the day, bro, it's respect to lock down 23 and 1. Because mm. if he never interviewed me, and even he was telling me to, to do an interview, I mean to uh, start a channel. If he never did that, I would have never did this. Right. So, you know, even though me and him, we, ain't, we don't fuck with each other now. Right. It's still respect for that initial put on. Well, when did that stress in that little relationship start? I mean, that's that's really the reason that I didn't do interviews anymore. Was uh, he instigated a lot of situations? Cause you did how many interviews with him? Four, three? With him, we did two interviews, but one of them was turned into two different videos. Okay. So it was only two things that we did together. Um, oh no, I think he brought me on for another one, asking me about how I would be in California State Prison. But more or less, he. I didn't even know he, he did it like this, but he interviewed Pino. Uh -huh. And first question asked, oh, you know about 1090J? I heard y'all was at the same prison. So after me and Lockdown 23 and 1 did that interview, he started bringing on all these people asking him, hey, what do you know about white bloods? What do you know about white bloods? And to me, I'm looking at it like, you just want somebody to say I ain't real, mm. to pop something off. You know what I mean? Because I'm telling you that. And I can bring on people that was in prison with me. You can interview them and hear it from them. But you're looking for an outside source to tell you some shit about me. So he interviewed Pino. And that's the thing. You interviewed Pino. And you said, how did it pop off? He said, I started talking about him. Mm. Ain't how it happened. Lockdown 23 and 1 asked him, does he know me? Right. So he started saying, oh, well, when I was at Appalachia, there wasn't no white bloods. They had a strict rule about that shit. He ain't lying. It's just, I'm official. <laughs> that's just what it is. Right. Uh, and then he said, if I was there when he was there, I must have been low custody. I was closed custody in Adon the whole fucking time. So what that did is it created a situation where you got one person saying we was at the same spot and it's kind of got other people like, oh, so he must be lying about everything that he said, mm -hmm. right? Me and Pino spoke and we did a little uh, an interview together. We did a video and we was cool. And come to find out, I left prison in 2015. He wasn't in prison until 2016. Right. We were never at the same spot. So when I talked to him about it, I was like, how did that come about with the interview? And he said, Lockdown 23 and 1 did it like that. Mm. So I feel like he tried to instigate that situation that turned into what it turned into. Do you think because you were like one of the biggest, most viral things that he had going, that he was kind of thinking like the next most viral thing I could do is to have somebody say something against yeah, this guy? Yeah, 100%, bro, because mm. we got into a couple of the situations with him. It's like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Like, you fuck with me or you, you don't? It's one or the other. You know what I mean? Like, if you fuck with me, you fuck with me, but why does it feel like you keep trying to get somebody to say something? And then when I step to him, it's like, nah, it's nothing like that, bro. It's nothing like that, da da da. So it's like, I kind of just realized people do little flaky shit. They're gonna do it behind closed doors, regardless. Mm. So it just, just stop fucking with each other. Right. At that point, it's like, who the fuck are you gonna bring on that's gonna talk about me? You know what I mean? Because I can bring on motherfuckers from other gangs that'll tell you what I was doing. I've right. done it. I've interviewed my ops on my shit that'll tell you, but yeah, like, it's respect on both sides. We didn't beef with bitches, bro. We beef with motherfuckers that was on there. Right. We were both getting hit up. So at the end of the day, you're gonna have some type of a mutual respect for that. Right. So then how, how does the Pino thing go from you guys having a conversation and being cool to what happened later? Hey, big Ola, let me get that paperwork, twin. Oh, boy. <laughs> big Ola. So more or less what happened was, before I even take this out, somebody dropped a video saying he was snitching with his paperwork. So I called him. I'm like, hey, bro, I got the affidavit and everything. Your co-defendant name, da da da. He's like, yeah. Y'all did this. He's like, yeah. You implicated your co-defendant? Nah. So everything else I just asked you is official, but the last part you don't like ain't officially. Nah, I ain't do that. All right, well, he just dropped the video saying you did, so you know, tighten that shit up, cause it was on some shit like everybody was hating on Florida prison channels, mm. cause a lot of us fuck with black culture, right. black people. They didn't like that shit. I wanted to unify the Florida prison channels. And at the time it was me, K Frog TV, who I honestly feel like would be a good interview because he's gonna give you the third perspective mm. of us in so this So many shit. people hit me up, up, up about him over the nah, years. Nah, yeah. you gotta you gotta bring him up, bro. At the end of the day- No Mighty gotta, Mouse? Nah, the sex offender. 
I don't know why he ain't bring him here with you. Like he was Pino rode around here with him. Yeah. He should have came too. Yeah, he fucked a little kid. I seen that on YouTube. I don't know the, nah, he the fucked, details, bro. but all right, I know the details. Fourteen year old little girl in a hotel on a period. Yeah. Jeez. The fucking police went to the school and interviewed her. It's a whole sex offender. He just think cause that shit big. Motherfuckers ain't gonna. He tried to uh link up with the homies yeah, he cause we got to, the Tampa uh, boxing league. He tried to come down. Yeah, a whole phone call got all that shit dubbed out. A fact. Yeah, nah. Really? That yeah, shit. That's we ain't fact. playing that shit. Is he still doing his boxing shit out there? Or that's not. I don't pay attention to him, bro. That's mm, Pino's okay. people. <laughs> well, they but, fell uh, out too, though, right? Yeah, because everybody got on his ass. He used them for security out here. Right. I don't know why he ain't tapping with the Hoovers. He they put, went there, didn't they? He put, no. I don't think they tapped in with He, he went to the art block. <laughs> <laughs> he went to a whole nother block. <laughs> he don't know no fucking Hoovers, but we gonna get into all this, bro. Right. So, uh, you know, more or less, I hit him about the paperwork, and I'm telling him to get that shit together. Show people that you ain't snitched, bro, because I'm fucking with you. Mm. So I feel like you were a reflection of me. And that's why I fucked up at. I shouldn't have felt like that. I could have just cut ties with him and let his situation be his. But instead, I felt like it was mine. Right. So I got more involved with it. He was on some shit like, man, I don't even care about that. I talked to K-Frog. I hit up Pino, and I'm like, look, you either delete your channel or I'm going to put the paperwork out. He folded, and I was honestly surprised. I didn't think he was gonna fold that easy. He deleted his channel? He deleted the fucking channel. You delete the channel, you got 30 days to sign back in. He deletes the channel, I didn't know. So K-Frog hit me up, he's like, yo, he ain't taking it down, you gonna post the paperwork? So K-Frog do his little sneaky shit too, you know what mm. I mean? He do some sneaky shit. And uh, I dropped the paperwork. So when I dropped the paperwork, everybody's trying to look up Pino's channel and it's gone. Oh, he really deleted it. Oh, he a bit. Oh, he this and that. Now they're thinking it's even more official because it's gone. Right. Then he brings it back. He does a video with some papers that he has saying, this is my discovery. Da, 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 da. This shows I didn't snitch. I'm the one that told him to go get his discovery. I'm like, look, you go get your discovery. It's going to prove you didn't tell nobody because it's going to have all the facts in the paperwork. You know what I'm saying? Okay guys, we wanna thank you so, so much for getting us to 100,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. If you wanna support, please click that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 200K. Thank you, thank you so much.